to wake up and look around and realize you have no idea where you're at and how you got there. That was my life last night. I was driving home and I wanted to go all the way home. Not home, I wanted to go to a lake where I want to go fishing. But I about, it wasn't even that late, it was like 1.30, I just hit a wall. So I pulled off the side of the road, took a two hour nap, and then realized it wasn't gonna do me the good I needed. It wasn't gonna wake me up enough to keep driving. So I pulled a little bit farther off the road, got in the back of the truck, threw out the bed roll and went to sleep. But it revolt resulted in me opening my eyes very confused this morning. Like, I sat up in this bed and I had no idea where I was. And then when the train went by, I was even more confused. However, it's all good now, I know where I'm at. I'm about 20 minutes away from where I was going. <laughs> so, I'm gonna keep rolling down the road and uh, go fish, I think. I slept a little bit too late, like 8.30, which is stupid because I missed the early bite. But I was so tired. I ended up getting out of that shed spot last night super late. I didn't get back to my truck until like 11.30. Anyway, it's just been one of those trips. Found some big horns though. So that's what matters, now let's go fish. So you guys wanna know a funny story? Right there on the other side of this lake is where I proposed to my wife. I took her fishing, what she thought was gonna be like a normal thing in our relationship, but it's probably like one of the last times I ever took her. Not that I don't like to take her fishing, just uh, I got kinda of caught up in this whole shed hunting thing, in case you guys didn't notice. But anyway, I brought her to this lake, I put a blindfold on her, I told her a bunch of nice things, and I casted her pole out in the water and I told her to reel it in. She thought that the ring was gonna be on the line at the end. She reeled it in and there was nothing there. She was panicked, this was part of my plan. And so I jumped in the lake. And this was in October, October? It was pretty cold. And I swam out in the middle and I dove down and I came back up with the ring in my hand, right? It just was in my pocket the whole time. And then I swam to the shore. And then I proposed to her. It was really romantic, blah, 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 blah. All right, here's a rundown. It's hard to see right there. E meeny money mo. So I uh, cruised over to this lake. It took me a while to find a spot that looked like I wanted to fish. I walked down, started throwing a Rapala, and I caught a couple little perch. And now I'm gonna throw this Jake's. Well, actually, this is a super duper. And see if I can't get into it. There's a bunch of small mouths bedded up right in front of me. You know, they're starting to come up a little bit as the water warms up. Those are all fishing words that I learned from John B, from Lunkers, from other fishing channels. I don't know anything about that. Super aggressive small mouths right here in front of me chasing these little perch and bluegill and there's about a hundred bluegill in front of me too so I'm sure if I throw anything gold and shiny at them I'll catch a few but uh, let's see how we do fishing one first cast what do you guys think think we can hook up right off didn't want to bite on the drop do you guys watch fishing on YouTube or not I want to know like it's funny because I'm not really that big of a fisherman I like I mean I'm a big fisherman I'm 6'4", 250, but like, I uh, I watch a lot of fishing on YouTube. I really enjoy it. I watch more than I fish, for sure. But uh, some of the guys I watch, I watch John B, like I said. I watch Lunkers TV a lot. I like to watch fishing on YouTube. If you guys haven't checked out those channels, go watch them. I like watching this Hush stuff that, that they do, and uh, Eric's little brother, Walker. I like watching his stuff, that dude crushes crushes the fish i'm so limited in my fishing setup in this lake there's a lot of different kinds of fish there's big trout um, there's a lot of perch and sunfish bluegill all that crap um, there's also a good sized smallmouth but what i really love to get into today are some wipers um, i've caught five plus pound wipers out of here before and they're super fun they fight really hard Ooh, oh got bit just got oh got a big trailer Oh, come on, take it, son. Had a big smallie trailing right there. Good sized fish. I've never caught really, really big smallmouth out of here. Biggest smallmouth I've ever caught, like on the Colorado River, like uh, right below Lake Havasu, Parker Dam. We've caught some five pound plus smallmouth down there. 
well change this up this right here is fashionable and functional um, i'm gonna throw a little tube jig at these guys i've had them work really well in the past it seems like most of the bass are right here in the rocks in front of me ow bro come on a lot of crawdads in this lake so but <laughs> they love it <laughs> oh oh what up thank you i want to thank all my sponsors gary yamamoto i want to uh thank all my fans on my fishing channel could have never done it without you guys um geez what a beautiful fish when you slam pure giants it's the way it is smallmouth just like don't want to eat it all the little perch and the bluegill and the sunfish are all about it well that whoa beard fro time to go <laughs> time to go tame this thing up a little bit that was pretty much a bust i got seven eight ten little perch um i hooked into one good smallmouth big fish didn't get it in so here's what i want to do i want to get more into bass fishing i watched these youtube videos of some of these youtubers i was talking about a minute ago i want to catch bass like they catch bass i know those guys are good obviously but those of you out there that have bass fishing knowledge hook me up with some starter information i want to know what i should buy what i should invest in if i need to get a bait casting reel if i should just stick with a spinning reel or what kind of baits I need to get. I know all these guys are all about these Cinco's and stuff, but honestly, I don't know anything about it. The only bass fishing I've done, we use tube jigs and poppers. But you guys tell me in the comments below what baits to buy and what's some good, good beginner stuff. And tell me who some of your favorite YouTubers are that bass fish or some good resources for knowledge on getting into bass fishing. Cause I live in pretty good bass country. Sand Hollow Reservoir is right by my house and it's full of big bass. So you guys let me know how to how to bass fish so this day was a kind of a bust but it's never a bust when you just get to sit back kick back and drink some cold drink and and wet a line so i'm gonna head home now i gotta go meet up for a family party and uh yeah that was a fun little trip hope you guys enjoyed it